All right, this is the median part of the special segments foldable. So let's look at the median. The median is the segment, it's a segment, ray, line, whatever, from a vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Okay, so it's from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the midpoint and I'm going to connect it to the vertex. And that's my median. Midpoint to vertex. So let's do this one. Midpoint to vertex. So that's my second median. Remember all these special segments you can, you can draw three of them in each triangle. Okay. The third one Oh, I've already used red. Let's not do that again. So I'm going to draw my midpoint and I'm going to go to my vertex. Okay? So those are your three medians. And this is where the three medians intersect and that's called the centroid or the center of gravity. So the point of intersection, as you can hear my children playing in the tub, the point of intersection of the three medians is called the centroid. Now why is it called the centroid? It's called the centroid because the centroid is the center of gravity. If I wanted to balance this triangle on a single point, the centroid is the center of gravity. Okay? It's the center of gravity. So the centroid has a couple of properties to it. Okay? Now, for the centroid, Whenever, if I were to take, let's say, let's look at this blue one here. If I were to take this blue median out, okay, here's my centroid right here. Okay. Actually, let's put it right here. Sorry, you can hear my kids screaming in the background. So if this is four, this is two. So in the centroid, basically what happens is the bigger segment is twice as big as the small one. Uh-oh, I'm going to have to uh, finish this video and probably come back and add to it. Or you could say this one is two-thirds of the length and this one is one-third of the length because four is two-thirds of six, right? Four of six is two-thirds. Two of six is one-third, right? So that's how we do the centroid. So for example, if that's four, that would have to be two. So let's try another one. Let's do the red one. In the red one, if that's 8, that's got to be 4 because the whole thing's 12. If that's 8, the smaller piece has to be half as big. And 8 out of 12 is 2 thirds. 4 out of 12 is 2 thirds. So you can see how that works with the centroid. Okay, and the last one is, let's say this one is 10. Well, that means this one has to be 5. If the big piece is 10, that's 5. Again, the little piece is half of the big piece and the big piece is two-thirds, so 10 is two-thirds of 15, and the little piece is one-third, five is one-third. So let's come down here in the diagram. It says AM is the median of ACT. So I've got midpoint to vertex. What is TM going to be congruent to? Well, if that's the midpoint, TM must be congruent to CM. Okay, TM is congruent to CM. All right, if TM is 14, then CT is what? Well, if TM is 14, CT, which is all the way across, would be twice as big because CM would be 14, right? So CT would be 28 because it's a midpoint. It's, we know midpoint because it's median, vertex to midpoint. This has nothing to do with 90 degrees. It's vertex to midpoint. It doesn't cut the angle in half. It's just vertex to midpoint. Cuts the side in half and hits the vertex. All right, the last one, if TM is 2x minus 1 and CM equals 11, find x. Well, since this is a median, that is a midpoint, that means 2x minus 1 has to equal 11 because that's the midpoint. So I'm going to solve this one out and I'm going to add 1 to both sides. So 2x equals 12. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2, so x equals 6. And that's all it's asking for is x, so you're, so you're done. And that's how you do the medians.